All right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the channel. Tonight, we're going to be talking about the one in two New England Patriots. Now, I know it's not pretty, and it certainly isn't sexy. The offense is only putting up 17.3 points per game. But keep in mind, this was not going to be immediate. This offensive line, especially with some of the injuries, some of the new faces, whatever you want to say, the offensive line was always going to take a little bit of time. If you look around the league, the offensive line takes time for every team. It just takes a while to get these guys clicking. Now, I want to say, all together, all in all, you've played some really difficult opponents. You played Philadelphia. You played Miami. They had so many flashes, and they still, to both of those teams, they only lost by possession. So I get it. You only put up 15 points. But keep in mind, man, the New York Jets defense, it's loaded. And I know for a Patriots fan, maybe they don't want to say that. But like me as a cheesehead, the, the Jets defense is freaking loaded. This is a the definition of a second half team to me. You've got a lot of stuff going, a lot of moving parts going on with the offensive line in general. That in and of itself was going to take at least six weeks of the regular season. But you also have Bill O'Brien coming on in here. The good news is this. The New England Patriots defense is freaking loaded, and Christian Gonzalez is a literal future star, and he might, by the end of the season, be a actual star in this league. As a rookie, he's played 100% of snaps. The eye test statistics, whatever you want to look into, Christian Gonzalez was a phenomenal pick. It still is so weird that he dropped all that way. I remember every mock draft doing, I remember talking about Christian Gonzalez all draft thinking, He's going five, he's going six, he's going seven, and he fell perfectly into the Patriots' lap. But keep in mind, man, patience, patience, patience. You want to hit your stride at the end of the season. And at the end of the day, there are positives with this Patriots' offense, and especially, especially that defense. Before we get any further into tonight's video, if you guys enjoyed, be sure to hit that like button, hit that sub button for daily NFL content. I do post a couple of Patriots videos every single week, so stay tuned for that. If we could try and get tonight's video to 250 likes, that would mean the absolute world to me. So although the Patriots offense is only putting up 17 points per game, rushing-wise, it's weird because Zeke finally, you know, they finally decided to give Zeke the ball against the Jets. They went super run-heavy in that game. But their rush offense, the eye test is like, oh, this doesn't really look great. You know, Zeke is doing a fine job, especially that past game. He's averaging 4.4 yards per carry on the season. But Ramondre Stevenson has yet to really get going. He's averaging some way, somehow, 2.9 yards per carry. They're, the only way is up. The only way is up. But the Patriots as a team, as a offense, they're only averaging 4.7 yards per play. That's 24th in the league. They're only averaging 3.7 yards per rush. That's 22nd in the league. And they're only averaging 6 yards per pass, which is 26th in the league. So yes, they need to improve on a bunch of things offensively. But to be honest with you, Mac Jones, I think, has done a phenomenal job. Maybe that Jets game wasn't perfect. It wasn't beautiful. But hey, it's not college football, and a win is a win. At the end of the day, Mac Jones, he was my big question mark this season. We're in a loaded draft class, and I just want to think to myself, before the season started, is Mac Jones the guy? I fully believe Mac Jones is the guy. I think he's the quarterback for the future, for the foreseeable future for the Patriots. So far... Five touchdowns, two interceptions, 65% completion percent. I like what I see from Mac Jones. I like his body language. I feel like he is a lot more comfortable right now in Bill O'Brien's offense, obviously, as opposed to you know whatever the hell Matt Patricia was cooking up last season. All that, that stuff just burned immediately. Bill O'Brien's cooking up some tasty meals. And you're just you're gonna you're gonna see it. We've started to see some implementations. They're getting a little bit more versatile. Guys are still injured. Taquan Thornton. One thing is perfectly clear to me. Somebody needs to step up as a wide receiver. Somebody needs to step up. I love my man Kendrick Bourne. I think he's so underrated. I don't know why he was in Patricia's doghouse for like all of last season. It was absolutely ridiculous. He's your leading receiver right now, averaging about 46 yards per game. Then Hunter Henry, one of these players, you know, we talked about Mike Jasicki and Hunter Henry a ton on this channel all off season to the point where it was like a little bit too much because not only are they both of them, both, B-O-A-F, both of them are extremely underrated at the tight end position. But you're able to get a lot more versatile. I can throw two tight end sets out there. I can line them up on the same side. I can line them up on opposite sides. They can block. They can catch. They can do a little bit of everything. And it's really helped out Mac Jones and this Patriots offense. The big 
kind of stingers are, you know, Devonte Parker, you know, he's only played two games. He's averaging 38 yards per game. You know, we kind of know what we're going to get from Devonte. Demario Douglas had a great flash against Philadelphia, but on the season, he's only averaging 25 yards per game. Juju's wide receiver one, right? Juju's got to step up here. You know, he's averaging 6.6 yards per completion. He's averaging 22 yards per game. Now, regardless, I still think the New England Patriots, whether or not Juju gets going, whether or not he gets fully healthy, you know, that the knee seems like it is a huge issue. They're still going to make the playoffs. They're still going to win nine games because why? Oh, I'm glad you asked. I have Bill. I have Bill Belichick. I have Bill O'Brien. I've got my bills. The defense is that good. You know, the defense is that good. And I think a lot of people, you know, kind of, I, I don't know. It's not like the Patriots defense is disrespected or underrated. People know they have a good defense. I don't think they understand the levels to that defense. Guys like Christian Gonzalez, you don't see rookies come on in here and play three games of their brief NFL career and kill it. I mean, he was the rookie of the month for a very good reason. That defense is going to keep you in every single football game. They're going to keep you in every single football game offensively i just need somebody to step up because as you start to play you know your buffalo bills your kansas city chiefs once we get into those playoffs i know we're in week four i'm not trying to get ahead of myself but somebody's got to step up you know every team needs a playmaker a guy where i'm gonna throw him a 50 50 ball and i just know he's gonna make a play and i know juju can do that we've seen him do it in pittsburgh i know that was a long time ago we saw him do it in kansas city last season i know he was kind of wide receiver too because Travis Kelsey is the best tight end of all time, but I know Juju has it in him, but it is definitely something, you know, I highly doubt the Patriots make a trade for a playmaking wide receiver. It's something I would certainly address this upcoming year. I know the, the jury is not even really out with Tyquan Thornton last year's second round draft pick. I know he's on the IR. I am still a Tyquan Thornton believer. And I think when he comes onto this offense, even if he isn't getting me, you know, 60, 70 yards per game, I just think having another, another guy out there is only going to help Bill O'Brien. It's only going to help Mac Jones. But getting that run game going is extremely important. It's just extremely important. And I like, even though, you know, Zeke had a great game against the Jets. I know Stevenson averaged, you know, what, like 3.1 yards per carry. I know he still has yet to be unlocked. We know Stevenson, you know, just another, like, just like Hunter Henry, Mike Jasicki, one of the more underrated players in the, young. He's young, too. He's only been in the league for a couple of seasons. You know, that run game is going to open everything up. And, you know, even if they lose to Dallas this upcoming weekend, I really like the next couple of weeks. You got New Orleans, you got Vegas. Halfway through the season, I just want New England, their record to be at like 500. But obviously, you know, we want to see the improvements offensively. It's just tough starting off. 0-2, this is a loaded schedule. And you got to take the wins because a win is a win. So that's it for tonight, man. If you enjoyed it, be sure to hit that like button, hit that sub button. Probably the last Patriots video by the by the next game this upcoming weekend against the Cowgirls. So stay tuned for a hopeful victory recap video Sunday afternoon. But as always, guys, hit that like button, hit that sub button, and we'll catch you next time.